Shalom Israel, that's the brother Kadaka Bar here again. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity, and peace and blessings to the whole free leg of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Um, I wanted to, uh, in the second, play this trailer of this movie called Black Adam. And, you know, just to speak on it a little bit, um, we know, we that's in this truth and sincerity, we know, you know, that when we watch movies, you know, we, we watch it with our spiritual eyes. And, you know, as I was, you know, watching this trailer, you know, we were just, I was just seeing things, you know, that, you know, that the scripture, you know, uh, talks about, man, you know, and I'm going to bring them out. You know, and this this movie is spiritual, man. You know, uh, we know the so-called white man, Esau Edom, you know, make these movies not on his own, but the Heavenly Father put the spirit on him to make these type of movies, you know, to give us, you know, signs and, and, and to boost our faith and stuff like that, man, you know. But uh, this movie, Black Adam, man, you know, it's it's all through the spirit, you know. And we know who the first Adam was, you know, Yahweh Shai. And he's also the last Adam, you know. He was Adam, Adam and Eve, that was Yahweh Shai. He was Adam, you know. And uh, let me get a scripture to prove that real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 24, verse 1, and it reads, Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. Verse 3, here's the point. I came out of the mouth of the Most High. And covereth, so like, and covered the earth as a cloud. Let's read it again. Verse 3. I came out the mouth of the Most High. Who is that? Yahweh Shai. Who was Adam? Did not Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, breathe life into Adam? What comes out your mouth? Breath. And the Most High. Uh, breathe that breath, you know, into Adam. So Yahweh Shah was Adam. Let's get another scripture. So this is right here. Uh, this is uh, yeah, Genesis chapter 2, verse 6, and it read, But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Verse 7, and the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, God formed man of the dust of the ground. And what color is the dust of the ground? Different shades of brown, you know, different shades of dark brown, man. You know, and we know, you know, that Adam was a, a, a melanated man, you know. Because we know Yahweh Shah is a melanated man. You know. Who well, these people, you know, what they will say in these times, a so-called black man. You know. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So we know he wasn't no so-called white man. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. So that was Adam, man. Yahweh breathed into Adam, man. Giving, you know, Adam the, the, the laws to 
govern over the earth, you know, to govern over the uh, creation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You know, let's get one more, you know, because there's plenty of scriptures, you know, to prove that Yahweh Shah was Adam. Um, you know, we just read it, uh, Ecclesiastes. Um, he came out the mouth of the Most High. You know, and Yahweh Shah was the first, you know, spirit created, man. Here upon this planet Earth. He was the first spirit created, period. You know? Yeah, that's right. Satan or the angels never rebelled, man. You people be saying Satan trying to take over the heavens and gather up the demons to go try to take over the throne of you. How about some y'all? You dudes bugged out, man. But anyways, let's go to First Corinthians. Let me get two more scriptures on this, then I'm going to get to the uh, video and bring out what I wanted to bring. I just, you know, just prove that, you know, Yahweh Shah was Adam, man. And in this movie out called Black Adam, you know, and the dude, you know, that's playing it is The Rock. He's a Judite. And, you know, Black Adam got, you know, in his movie got spiritual powers and stuff like that, man. Hey. And we know Yahweh Shah is not coming back as a regular man. Scripture tell you that he's not going to meet thee as a man. Let me uh, get this real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45, and it reads, And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul because the heavenly father breathed that life into him. Heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem El Shah, you know, Yahweh uh, breathed that life into Adam, who was Yahweh Shah. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. And the, the first Adam was Yahweh Shah. And the last Adam is Yahweh Shah. How do we know that? Because what did Yahweh Shah say? I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. As it says right here, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. This is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was Adam. Revelations 22 verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning of and the end, the first and the last. He was the first Adam and he was the last Adam. As I tell you, as we just read in First Corinthians chapter uh, 15, verse 45. You know, so I just wanted to prove that real quick. Let's get to the video. And if you can receive it, then you know, you know. If you can't receive it, then hey. You just can't get it. Heavenly Father, I want you to get it. But let's play this, uh, cut this down real quick. Let's play this trailer real quick. Black Adam, what have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but heartache. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. My 
my son sacrificed his life to save me. And what comes to mind when I see this part right here is uh, when the scripture says uh, no weapon uh, that's formed against no weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper, you know. And we going to, you know, soon, Yahweh willing, we are the elect and we're going to get spiritual power, man. You know, and these weapons that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man got his blessing, the sword. It's not going to prosper against us, man. It's not going to do us no harm, man. You know. And, you know, mainly these these weapons that you, uh, these weapons that this devil got, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. None of his weapons is going to prosper against Yahweh Shah when Yahweh Shah return in the chariot with the holy angels, man. Them little missiles and... and, and Machine guns and all that military bullshit ain't going to affect nothing when Yahweh shall return, man. It's not going to affect the chariot. It's not going to... Esau is not going to be able to do nothing, man. He's not going to be able to commit no damage to Yahweh Shah. Now that part right there is what hit me the most when I watched this. Cause knowing that, you know, Black Adam is, you know, it represent Yahweh Shah. And you heard what the guy said. Let's let's play it again. <laughs> Listen good. Heroes don't kill people. You heard what he said. Heroes don't kill people and watch what black adam say well i do <laughs> he said well i do right you know because yahweh shot is our hero is he not is he not coming to save us his elect yahweh willing be a part of that elect number is he not coming to save his elect? Yahweh Shai is the elect hero. And Yahweh Shai is coming to kill and destroy. Let's listen one more time. Say heroes don't kill. And, the, the, you know, the rock, Black Adam said, well, I do. <laughs> You know, and the scripture tell you that Yahweh Shah is not coming to uh, bring peace here upon the earth, man. But a sword is coming to bring destruction. And he's coming to put a lot of people to death, man. One more time. Because that's what hit me. You know, scriptures popped in my head when I, you know, when I heard this. Don't kill. Go back a little bit. Well, I do. Well, I do. <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah, Yahweh Shah is a hero, man, for the elect, uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. And he kills, man. He's coming back to, to bring death, man, up on this earth, man. You know? Let me get a scripture. Because the scriptures say that the, uh, the slain of the Lord should be many. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right. Yahweh Shai not coming to bring peace, man. You know, he's coming to bring destruction and put a lot of people to death, man. This is uh, Isaiah 66, verse 16, and it reads, For by fire and by his sword, with the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, plead with all flesh 
and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Now we know Yahweh himself not coming down here physically to do anything. He's going to do it through his son, Yahweh Shai. He's sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, down here to slay many people. So if you, you know, if you can see it, you know, that Yahweh is, is, is going to do this through his son, his only begotten son. So Yahweh Shah is the one that's going to, you know, come re return back here up on this earth and, and slain a lot of people, man. You know? So when I seen that part, man, it was like, Heroes don't kill people, and, and, and dude said, I do. Right, Yahweh Shah is the elect hero. Yahweh Shah is the elect of the nation of Israel. He He's their hero. He's our hero, you know? And we know Yahweh Shah is going to uh, bring death here up on this earth, man. You know? Let's go back to the video. And before I uh, finish the video off, let me read this real quick. Isaiah 47, verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, Esau. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. Yeah, Esau. I will take vengeance. And I will not meet thee as a man. Yahweh is not coming. As a line, uh, he's not coming as the lamb like he did 2000 some years ago. He's coming as a roaring, conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, man. He's coming back as an angelic force and, and uh, and a uh, uh, angelic being, all power, man. Power that this that <laughs> power that no man on this planet Earth had ever seen. The world is about to see greatness, man. And Esau eat him. Hey, you fucked up, dude. You see what Yahweh Shah just said, man. You know? He would not meet thee as a man. You know? This, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh. But, you know, this is a... Uh, Yahweh is going, he's doing everything through his son, man. His son is going to be the one doing everything. My vision has shown me the future. And another scripture that comes to mind. And the scripture said we're gonna uh mount up like uh like eagles, man. Let me get that real quick. This is uh Isaiah 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And you just see how he just punched that guy that hit him in the head with that damn pipe. Punch that guy all the way into the damn sky, man. <laughs> we'll have we're gonna have that strength, man. You know. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You know. You're gonna be able to fly, man. And you hey, you gotta believe that. You gotta believe that, man. We're gonna be able to fly. Something that this devil want to do. You know, the closest thing he he can do uh, uh, as flying is, is jumping out a damn plane. You know, and that's not that's not that's not even a uh, flying, man. That's just that's just falling with style. <laughs> that man falling with style, man. He falling, he ain't flying. That's falling with style, man. That's what that is. 
This devil want to fly so bad, man. We going to be able to fly, though, man. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You know, and that time is coming, brothers. We're, hey, we're going to have spiritual power, man. We're going to receive those new bodies and be like Yahweh Shai. That's what we're looking forward to, man. We looking up, we looking to get, you know, delivered out of this place, man. So we can receive those law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and our inward parts. And receive those new bodies and be like Yahweh Shai. We want to be made perfect, man. Because we want to do the things that the Heavenly Father commanded us to do, man. A hundred percent. You know? Type of powers is coming, brother. Be patient. Just be patient, man. We're gonna receive those new bodies. We're gonna be made like Yahweh Shah. You know. So yeah, I just you know wanted to touch on that, man. I seen that watching the the trailer earlier with the with the family, uh, with the wife and kids, and you know, I was just scriptures just hit me like, man, you know what I'm saying. Cause when I watch things, you know, I like, you know, when I watch things, I like to watch it, you know, through my spiritual lenses, man. And see what I can get out of it as, you know, spiritual, you know, some movies ain't like, you know, don't have no spiritual meaning to it, but a lot of them do, you know, the type of movies I like to watch. But yeah, I just, you know, wanted to touch on that. Um, that's where we can end it off with that. You know, so yeah, just be patient, brothers. You know, you know, we almost out of here, man. You know, great, great, great things is coming to the elect of the nation of Israel. Yeah, how will we a part of that elect number? You know, we got to continue to do what we do concerning this uh, truth. You know, continue to uh, trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Keep believing, keep the faith. You know, keep praying, keep watching. You know, and uh. Stay rooted in his word, you know, keep preaching his word, you know, and and, and and remain patient. You know, patience is key. You know, we waiting on Yahweh Shah. You know, we waiting on Yahweh, you know, really, you know, to send Yahweh Shah back. You know, Yahweh Shah waiting himself, you know, Yahweh Shah can't wait to come back, man. You know, to, to show his power, man, to bring vengeance upon this earth, man, upon the people of this earth, you know, and to deliver his elect. And, you know, Yahweh willing, we are part of the elect number because we don't want to be on the wrong side of the Heavenly Father and his son. You know, we want to be on the right side so we can get beamed up into the chariots. So, uh, that being said, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha See y'all again soon. You have a willing. Shalom.